Well, you guys, it's been an uphill battle for these advocates out of Killingly. They actually joined each other at the state capitol today. They came from Killingly to advocate for more mental health resources for their students. The overarching message at the Save Our Children's rally is mental health is undeniably linked to academic success. State leaders, parents, teachers and community members traveled from Killingly to the state capitol to rally for an important reason. When the Killingly School Board was presented with a proposal in March for a grant funded school based mental health center, they said no. Then parents stepped in filing a complaint against the board in August. This is not just a Killingly issue. Mental health supports are a community issue. Now the State Department of Education is investigating whether voting down the proposal violated the educational interest of the state. Concerned community members, parents and teachers are continuing to speak out. We are just not satisfied with the supports that our students are receiving, especially given the startling statistics about how many students are considering harming themselves as well as have a very specific plan for suicide. In a mental health nonprofit survey late last year of Killingly students from 7th grade to 12th grade, nearly 30 percent of the respondents reported that they've had thoughts about hurting themselves and 14.7 percent of those students had suicide plans. With school almost back in session, advocates say that they want what's best for the students. This is a do or die kind of situation. So we stand with the right or we fall with the wrong, ladies and gentlemen. And you guys, we also reached out to the Board of Education for a statement, and they recently got back to us within the hour, and they said that at their last special board meeting that they approved a new program. It's called Rachel's Challenge to address the social and emotional needs for their students. And we are waiting to learn exactly what this program is and where the funding comes from. When we get more updates, we'll continue to update you here on air and online. For now in Hartford, DeAndrea Turner, Fox 61 News.